Good morning, yogis, and welcome to my channel. My name is Matt, and today I have a beautiful 15-minute morning yin yoga routine that I'm going to be sharing with you guys. So thanks for joining me on the mat. And today's intention is going to be about connecting with people. So I want you today to spend less time on your phones and actually, in a meaningful way, connect with people and exchange with people in your surroundings. So today we're going to try to focus on that. And throughout our practice, we're going to bring that focus and energy and carry it throughout our day. So let's get right into it. So we're going to start in a half straddle pose when we're going to bring our right leg in and then align, aligning ourselves towards our left leg. We're going to start walking our fingertips forward and just allowing our spine to round, everything to become heavy. So we're just offering our body this gentle stretch. And in yin yoga, everything is done without force. So we aren't trying to push and strain our joints and ligaments. We just want to find the edge and allow gravity and just the weight of our body to do the rest. So just keep breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. Thinking about how you're going to put your phone aside today and engage in real life connections with people in your surroundings. I find we spend too much time on our phones and it actually disconnects us from immediate people in the surroundings. So it's important to do this practice and to connect with what really matters, which can be your spouse, your husband, your close friends, your kids. slowly come out of this and now we're gonna go into full straddle so bringing our legs as wide as we can sitting up straight we're gonna start walking our fingertips forward and finding our edge I really love doing yin yoga in the morning and I'm so happy and grateful to be able to share this with you guys. I want to thank you for the support. It's truly amazing to build a yoga community, making us united even though we don't know each other and we live in maybe different parts of the world. I just want to take a moment to thank you. You guys are amazing. So just remember that if at any point in time the position becomes too comfortable, you can go a little deeper into it and finding your new edge. And we can come back out of it very slowly and now we're gonna go onto the half straddle on our right leg this time. So bringing our left leg in, aligning, aligning, sorry, our hips 
with our right feet, foot, sorry. I'm just gonna lean forward. And find our edge on this side. slowly come back in the middle and from here putting your right foot on top of your left knee we're just going to go into a gentle twist for our spine so we're going to take our left hand and place it onto our right knee we're going to bring our right arm back behind us so pushing a little bit through that right knee we're just going to keep our body up and straight and turn to look back so just find your edge and stretch that spine come back to the middle we're going to cross our legs and this time we're going to put our left foot on top of our right knee using our right hand to grab onto that left knee and then bring our left arm back twisting our spine and looking behind to my two beautiful sleeping dogs they tend to fall asleep like that when I do yoga with the relaxing music. They're quite cute. And we can release. And now we're going to go on to all fours to get into pigeon pose. So we're going to swing our left leg to our left wrist. And we're going to place that 
left shin perpendicular to the front of our mat, extending our right leg behind us. We're gonna come down into our forearms. And this is where if you have blocks, Andy, you can put one underneath your left hip just for support. It's a great way to settle into the position and especially in the morning when everything is tight, I like to use blocks compared to at night when I can get a little deeper into the position. Just allowing ourselves to become heavy, feeling that left glute open up, our body becoming more flexible as time goes on. our way back up bringing that knee back now we're gonna swing our right leg up front to our right wrist bringing that shin in a 90 degree angle to the front of our mat placing the block behind our right glute and allowing ourselves to come down onto the floor So again, I want you yogis today to focus on meaningful, true face-to-face -face connections with people today. And making it a daily habit of yours to spend more time connecting in real life with people and less with your phone. You're gonna see that the quality and happiness of your life is gonna increase tremendously. Give it a try and you guys can let me know in the comment section how it works out for you. But we've been doing a daily habit of that, me and my wife. And it has really improved our relationships on so many levels. And we're gonna come back up. And to conclude this practice, yogis, we're gonna get into child's pose, wide knee child's pose. Just waking up our spine and allowing to settle everything into a comfortable position for the day ahead. So bring our knees to the outside edge of our mat, touching our big toes behind, sitting on our heels. We're gonna walk our hands forward and bring our forehead to the ground. So I invite you to stay here for at least two minutes or longer and just prepare your mind, your body and your energy for the beautiful day ahead. Thanks again guys for being part of my 
yoga community here on Yin Yoga with Matt. I wish you another beautiful morning and an awesome weekend. We're Friday today, right? Ciao, guys.